Hi, welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nicholson number 49 file. I'm usually pretty picky about the items I get and I do research on it before and I'm kind of weary about cheaper items. So most of the items that I get are pretty high quality. I'm pretty happy with them and I usually give good reviews on it. Today that's not going to be the case. I bought a Nicholson number 49 file. So the Nicholson number 49 file is very, very popular for bow makers. It's a random pattern, so it doesn't leave straight grooves and trenches that you gotta clean out later. I have always put these off because they're kind of expensive and I've just used other items and just kind of made do. Most of my prior bow work, I've kind of used the Farrier's Rasp. These are pretty popular. I was just introduced to a Shinto Rasp a couple years ago and that's been a game changer. The Sure Form by Stanley is another pretty good, pretty inexpensive product that I've had a lot of luck with. So I finally thought I would step up to the real world and get a proper file. So this is what's known as a cabinet maker's file. Uh, super, super popular. I have used these in classes with great, great luck. I was told that these used to be made in the USA and now they're made in Brazil and they're not as good. So I understand that sentiment completely. I try to get made in the USA products whenever available. But this file is a complete and total piece of garbage. I've had it maybe five days, and this is the first chance today I was making a bow, the first chance I got to use it. And the file itself was bending as I was using it. Look at this. Now, look at that, I've bent it into a U, into a slight U. So I was just going in one direction, I know how to use a file and I could just feel it give under my hands as I was working. It was still taking stock off, but I could feel it. It just wasn't quite right. Uh, and then you don't even need a rock test on this and I can straighten it out just as easy. Look at this. I have quite a bit of experience in heat treating from knife making and from other classes that I've had in metal work. And this file is completely unheat treated. This is in its softest state right now. So I contacted customer service of the company I bought it from because I cannot find any uh, customer service line for Nicholson themselves. So that is completely unexcusable. The company I bought this from did not make this piece of crap. The company I bought this from should not have to deal with this, but they're gonna have to deal with it one way or another. Uh, the, the Nicholson file company, that's what I always went with. Uh, I've used this for work in my career for years, uh, probably 20, 25 years. I've really never used a file other than a Nicholson's file. Uh, and again, I thought I was getting the best and this is complete garbage. Here it is again. And a file is supposed to be absolutely hard as a rock. You use a file to test a knife's hardness. So this thing, I'm lucky it even took the wood down. Completely and totally worthless. So they make hand cut versions of this cabinet maker's file that's quite a bit more. Uh, I'm gonna try to return this, try to get my money back. I might go to the custom file. I might try one of these if they send it back to me. But buyer beware with this. Don't take your USA company and move it overseas. And then let your customer service completely fall off. Let your quality control completely fall off. This is a joke. So traditionally I say, if this is the kind of thing you like to see, subscribe to the channel, but nobody wants to see a file bending like this. So if the video is what you like to see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment in the comment box. Ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Burning River Bushcraft. I teach outdoor classes on OutdoorCore.com. Most of my videos are pretty positive, but I keep things honest, and this was just pissing me off. I took a break from working, took some pictures of it, tried to get a hold of customer service, and it is completely non-existent. So it is what it is today. Uh, buyer beware with this thing. Look for a used one, I would say. Uh, if you find one on eBay, a made in the USA, Nicholson number 49, you're probably going to be binned against me. So good luck getting it. But buyer beware with this stuff. Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.